when we first introduced the Beatles um, in the mid 90s, when we first brought them in into containment, we discovered they had a, a, a small uh, microparasite, a, a microsporidium. Uh, we attempted and were successful in line rearing the beetles to actually eliminate the microsporidium from the beetle population. But in line rearing, where we take individual beetles and their individual progeny and take them through to the next generation, testing them and doing that again for a number of generations. In doing that, we ended up uh, genetically bottlenecking the, the population of beetles. Uh, so a couple of years ago we decided we should actually try and boost the genetic diversity of, of the beetles out in the field here in New Zealand. Paul Peterson returned to the UK to collect further beetles from a range of sites uh, to then bring back into containment here. We then crossed those beetles with New Zealand field court beetles and we've been rearing those for a number of generations. Uh, we're on about the third generation now. Uh, and the progeny from those crossings we will put back out into the field up in Tongariro to then bolster the genetics of the field populations that we have already got established. It's a dream of an agent, to work, a biocontrol agent to work with uh, because both, both the adults, adults and the larvae feed on the heather plant uh, which is it's a bit of a double whammy for the plant really because it gets hit from two, two life stages. Uh, both, both adults and the larvae graze the, the green green areas of the of the plant so they can literally strip the green uh, the photosynthetic the, the, the food producing areas of the plant uh, and in, in enough numbers they will actually kill the plant a small number of sites where we've actually had um, beetle outbreaks beetle explosions uh, where there are significant there are tens of thousands of beetles in relatively small areas and, and they just move as, as a wave through the, the heather growth uh, to stripping the, the green uh, the green growth off the heather, killing the plants, moving forward. The heather beetle is, is looking promising as a standalone agent. Uh, yes, we, we often do look at a suite of agents for a particular weed, trying to get a number of insects uh, or a number of control agents, perhaps insects and a, and a disease and a, and a rust or a fungus, uh, to actually attack a plant. Uh, often in different areas of the plant, we might aim at seed, flowers or leaves or roots, uh, different agents on each. Uh, but in this case, I, I think the heather beetle looks as if it may actually be a, dare I say, a silver bullet. We've got good signs, we've got good indication now that uh, we've got beetles established. If, if we can super drive those now, if we can turbocharge those, those beetles that are out there now with the new genes we're going to introduce, uh, heather will be non-existent.